the real gist trolls now listen to me trolls <laughs> i literally forgot the food on the counter and that's why hi my schnookums how you guys doing so today's topic is a very interesting topic it's about trolls but wait 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 before we get to that topic let's pack together so someone ordered two of my biggest body butters one carrot oil and yeah and one carrot oil so i would like you guys to pack with me if you don't mind which i hope you actually don't so i may be talking about the trolls as i'm doing this but I actually changed my mind let's talk about my products as i'm doing this so this is my nylon my nylon sapphire skincare and this is my bag sapphire skincare so since i'm having like two body butters and one carrot oil i'll just go with the nylon because it's bigger and it's better but you can still admire the bag <laughs> anywho so technically oof, i have a lot to talk about trolls today like i've had some interesting experiences you guys just have to wait and watch really if you're really that eager to hear about it you have to be patient with me and you're gonna have to wait till i start talking about it because i promise you i will definitely talk about it I'm not going to miss one detail. I'll give you guys the full gist. I love giving people the full gist. And I love it when people give me the full gist. It's satisfying. Anywho. Where is... Uh, so, I have two stickers for the body water. One that I put on top, on the cover. And the other one I put around the body. So, I've already put the one for the body. I'm putting the one for the top. That's how it looks like. It just has oh my god this camera should focus on it anyway it says sapphire skincare so yeah i like to be very specific so where it's showing the sapphire skincare i make sure this is also facing that side too i don't want it to be i don't want it to be wired like could you not i'm nigerian of course that would happen in my video. <laughs> Funny. It doesn't mind my older sister. So, anywho. Nepa just decided to be a little weird. Let, let I don't want to make this boring for you guys. So I'm going to be very quick so I can get onto the topic. Because I, get, I can get onto the topic. Because you guys are actually going to love what I'm about to tell you. Really. You would trust me you would want to stay back and listen and then oh it would be really nice if you guys could also share your experiences with trolls down in the comments below and tell me how you dealt with it and what you did about it how did you feel and like did you talk to a trusted adult about it i'm sorry i'm trying to find the line on this body but i don't understand like bro why are you stressing me she did, she right? Exactly. <laughs> like that book, eh? I feel like I could read it for the second time. Mm -hmm. It's just too good at this point. Ah, <sighs> eh? It's upside down. My goodness. I have to make it perfect for for my schnickenses, my gems, and my star finisher. And that's my YouTube my tiktok and my instagram because i love you guys and i just want you guys to be happy because the hype about this product is not too much it's just enough enough for you to fall in love with it enough for you to want more okay that's perfect that's that's okay see i'm not a machine so just ignore any little thing that you notice about it like oh sapphire it's too bent by the side why don't you come do it yourself i'm joking i didn't mean that i was just kidding what i'm trying to say is i'm just trying to make it presentable for you guys that's it oh i've been reading this book 
it's called redeeming love listen let when i tell you my heart is drawn to it i mean my heart francis rivers that is that her name francine. oh my god i'm so sorry francine <laughs> rivers she is the best human being i've ever come across wait i've never actually met her physically let me just say her books are one of the best books i've ever read in my life Apart from the one that my grandpa gave me, my grandpa gave me an audio book to listen to called Basket of Flowers. That, that book, I can never forget that book in a million years. Then this one, Redeeming Love, it, I feel like I've been, like, where have you been all my life? Where has Francine Rivers been all my life? I've been looking for the perfect romance book. I'm sure you guys know. Well, I'm talking to my schnookumses because they already like know that I love romance books. When I say romance, I mean love, not lost. Thank you very much. This is a Christian love book. It's a retelling of the story of Hosea and Gomer. That is when God told a prophet to go and marry a prostitute. Listen she did it spot on like she makes you feel what is going on and let me tell you let me tell you if when you read this book you want more i'm already begging my mom for more i'm already i'm like mom please you have to get me another one of her books even my older sister here Fadi, she has read like one of our other books and she said that she really liked it and i i i, I just i want to join in i really i i fell in love with her and one thing about me is if a book isn't so interesting i don't finish it because that's just me i leave it i just some of them are just sitting down on my shelf i have seasons for those books but right now i'm not in the mood for them i just pass them and pick the ones that i want right <laughs> i just pick the ones that i want at the moment but let me tell you when i first opened this book hmm? It has like 400 and something pages. I'm already in 256. Did I say 227 the last time? I think it's actually 256. In two days. I've never read so fast before in my life. I am drawn to this book. You guys are going to love her. And if you have read any of Francine Rivers' books, Francine Rivers' books, tell me down in the comments below how it felt for you. Because for me, Paradise paradise on paradise on paradise on paradise i can never forget her i will never forget her she just makes me so happy ah, bless her soul and she's a godly woman i love her so much she's just so beautiful her picture is at the back of the book by the way so i know what i'm saying when i say she's pretty she is pretty in fact we are all beautiful in the eyes of the lord because it says in the Bible, we are beautifully and wonderfully made. And don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Very good. So, anyways, I'm done labeling. And now I'm going to put it into this nylon. Nylon, don't get me wrong. Whew. Okay. I also like to put a little gift for people that order more than one product. It's like, yeah, like this. She, the person ordered more than one product so i'm giving her a cute little keychain and i just i like to give people keychains according to how i feel about them and don't get me wrong i don't have bad keychains i have all good keychains but if i've seen you physically right i'll be like mm, i think this color suits you and i'll give you the keychain of the color that i think suits you and hope that you wear it that you use it you know what i'm trying to say i did it for um one of my teachers during my junior secondary school and then i also did it for my mom's sister so i just when i take a good look at you and i also did it for one of my mom's friends too when i take a good look at you like or if i know you through the chat that we had i'll just like give you a keychain that i think will suit you it may be wrong like you might not like the color but i'm just saying really i'm just saying Whew. so yeah this is it I don't think it would have fit in the bag, so let's not tear this beautiful bag. <laughs> okay. So. Kind of book you read when you want to improve your vocabulary. Abby. It's missing my mind. Oh good. You want me to? You want me to fetch water? Yeah, she didn't like. She didn't go to school, right? So yes, her English yes, is not yes, so great. Yes, but 
when I read, I want to learn. Yeah, so you want to improve your vocabulary. <laughs> but this one, you're just reading it for reading sake. <laughs> Oh gosh. But as well just Okay guys. So I'm done packing. Now let's get onto the real gist. Trolls. Now listen to me. Trolls are mythical creatures that are well, I'm talking about like normal, normal, normal definition. Trolls are mythical creatures that are not so great to look at and are either dwarfs or giants. But then now what we call trolls today are people who are and uh, Fadi, please, what's the word? What's the word for the people, for the trolls? Antago. Aha, thank you. So, trolls are people who antagonize by posting offensive comments under your posts. <laughs> trolls, trolls, trolls. Listen to me and listen to me well. My mom and my dad talked to me about trolls. Because I started seeing them under some of my Instagram posts. And I'm like, what did I do to this person? Then my mom and dad sat me down and talked to me about it. And told me, darling, you shouldn't be worried about trolls. Because there are people who antagonize others by posting offensive comments under their posts. And so I decided to just restrict and block. So that way, when I restrict them, their comments don't really... They don't show under my post, so I just skip and go and answer the rest. Or I either just block you and never see you again. Anyway, moving on. Um, Sorry, I have like a few points here that I would like to talk about. I still have some stories to gist you guys about. So, which leads me to my next point. So when my mom and dad were talking to me about the whole true thing, Turns out, if you actually don't do something about an uncomfortable situation that you might be in, it's going to affect your mental health. Trust me, I can testify to that. I have been in one of those situations where I felt less of myself and I would judge myself every day and blame myself for um, reasons. I would blame myself because of things that happened to me. So I thought, you know what? I think I'm the problem. I'm the one that just doesn't know how to control myself and just understand that people don't want to have anything to do with what I'm saying right now. But turns out that's really not the case. The thing is, you haven't found the right people to be around yet, the people that truly appreciate you. And yes, they might know that you have a weakness, but instead of bringing you down or making you feel less of yourself, they would instead encourage you and help you improve yourself. Improve, encourage lesson and insult moving on so if you want to be okay mentally and have peace if you want to flow baby girl or boy make sure you do something about any uncomfortable situation you are in i watched this reels on instagram where a lady asked a, a man and said how how um how many times do you have to be disrespected before you cut off from people then he answered back and said how many times do you take poison before you die you should already know that when somebody disrespects you once or makes you feel less of yourself for at least a minute or insults you or brings you down bro cut off that's not the right person to be with. And see, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm perfect and I haven't insulted anybody in my life. Trust me, I've gotten to some parts in my life where, some parts of my life where I take out my anger on people. Kevin, I've, I've taken out my anger on Kevin. I've taken out my anger on Miguel. My weakness is sometimes I can't be so patient. My weakness is I'm not patient. So I need to watch my words, especially when I'm angry. So when I'm angry, sometimes I just decide to not talk to you because I know that if I say something, our relationship is not going to be a good one. So I just decide to ignore you. And while you keep pestering me, I will not say a word because I know that if I should open my mouth, you won't like what's going to come out of it. So that's how I deal with my weakness because trust me, sometimes I feel like when you insult somebody, I felt this way before. I felt like, oh, if I just say, bro, stop acting like if um, an F-O-O-L. I don't want to say it so that YouTube will not go and say, oh, she's insulting on her podcast or the talk or TED talk. 
So I would ju I'm just going to say, um, I'm just going to spell it out. So sometimes I'll be like, bro, don't be an F-O-O-L. Stop acting like an I-D-I-O-T. See, listen, I didn't know that the people I would say this to would feel bad because I thought they would also take it as a joke because I meant it as a joke. <clears throat> but you need to understand that people have feelings. So if you don't have something good to say, just turn it around. That's what my mom told me. She said, Safai, whenever have, you have the urge to insult somebody, instead, just compliment them. I know it sounds so weird, but this is what this is what happened to me one day. I decided to just practice it. When I was so angry at Kevin, I was like, my friend, get out of here, you fine boy. <laughs> he looked at me so, like, he was confused. He looked at me, he was like, uh-uh. I'm sorry, I thought you were upset. I was like, yes, I'm upset, you cute human. Leave this room. <laughs> <laughs> and i tried it and i actually realized that oh instead of like making kevin feel even more angry or less of himself he criminal offensive side eye <laughs> Pade, please <laughs> so instead of making kevin feel less of himself i was just complimenting him and i'm not going to lie it actually calmed me down a little bit because who taught you who taught you to always compliment who taught As me to always compliment things like fat boy you are my mom exactly wow not you trying to take all the credits but that my mom was, was there first my mom was there first than you yes who finally who fa <laughs> your mom will watch this thing and think i'm crazy but who <laughs> finally said don't oh can you mic hear me yes but i i was what i feel like i was one that still did it and finally said to you and kevin yeah that's the one i called you yeah exactly that okay, was the call to yeah, resolution that i was talking about oh yes when i said don't comment on anybody's body yes it was okay. a whole lecture guys so like a whole TED talk like actually i'm not Props going to lie to i can't come online and pretend Props that to me. <laughs> i <Props> to <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I can't come online and pretend that I'm a perfect person because I've done some things that I really regret. And that's why I want to talk to you guys about it to also let you know that it's not okay. I'm not going to lie. I've body shamed before and I'm not proud of it. But I'm not condemned because I know God has forgiven me and I've asked for forgiveness. And then I have people like Fade around. <laughs> I have people like Fade around that love and care about me and correct me. And like correction is not something that you accept easily. It's going to hurt very bad. You because I love and care about that. Don't you? Allegedly. You. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> so like correction is not supposed to be something sweet to the ears. Trust me, when my mom is correcting you, eh? When my mom corrects me, it pains me so badly. I feel like I feel like hitting not her, but something. I feel like taking out my anger on something, but She's doing it because she loves me. It's tough love, bro. Tough love. And I know there are some teenagers out there, specifically teenagers, teenagers, because I'm a teenager too. And I'm sure people have also gone through this. Specifically teenagers out there that have also felt this exact same way and decide to just withdraw from their parents. Don't do so. It's tough love. I know it may seem like they hate you right now. They are comparing you to your neighbor. They are comparing you to your classmate that got A star all through. They're just doing it because they want to see you improve. They just want to see you be a better person. They may have made some mistakes in the past and they don't want you to make those same mistakes. So they may not do it in a way that will sweet to you. It doesn't really have to be sweet to you. So they're just doing it to correct you. And at the end of the day, you find out that when you do it and you receive praise, from people you feel good about yourself and then your parents and i'll be like mm, that's my daughter that's my son that's my child yeah and then god god most of all from heaven will be like yeah that's my child right there and the bread is so great so you just be very happy now back onto trolls yeah so never surround yourself with negative energy even if you are being surrounded by negative energy cut it off cut it what off and never feel guilty about it darling because you are doing what's best for yourself and the sooner they understand the better and trust me the right ones will come and look for you the right ones that truly care about you are going to come and look for you you won't know your friends when you're in your happy moment it's when you're deep into depression when you're sad when you're at your lowest moments that's when you see your true friend showing up for you. They'll come and they'll check up on you. Trust me when I say so. So, anywho, 
do something about that negative energy girl and then trolls now listen you guys people in the bible it even says it it talks about how people should be careful with their words it says in the bible people wait yes let your speech be precious and seasoned with salt so that you can have the right answers for people it says so in colossians 4 verse 6 bro take that verse very seriously because the tongue is very powerful it has the power of life and death on it so what you say you should really really watch what you say because i'm not going to lie i've said some things that made some people uncomfortable around me and if i've ever done that to you i'm very sorry but if you're in the wrong and you know you're in the wrong i'm not sorry you deserve it if you're in the wrong <laughs> <laughs> i know i keep coming back but like she said apology with a sprinkle of gaslighting <laughs> if you're in the wrong <laughs> in the wrong actually if you're in the wrong you know that what you did is wrong and i put you in your place so don't say something at that time when you said that i should stop calling you at 2 30 a.m what are you doing awake at 2 30 are you in that color you think i'm not sleeping i'm sleeping over here i'm trying to get my sweet sleep i look tired and sick people keep telling me so you look tired and sick i know i'm trying to get some sleep and then you're calling me, trying to tell me one thing, one thing, one thing. I don't want to hear. Call me in the afternoon. I'll be awake by that time. My gosh. Take it easy, please. Anyway. I'm sorry if I've offended you in any way. So, moving on. What was I? What was I? What was I? Trolls are people that don't even know you. Now, see. There's a difference between people that are, um, are trolls and people that like offend you and they know you there's like there's this whole different vibe so people that know you they know what you don't like and they know what you like and they know that if they say this thing to you or they do this thing to you it's going to hurt like it's like kevin now coming to my face and saying um uh okay what's something i don't like mm. oh okay let's let's give this example because maybe other people can i'm sure you guys may have you guys can understand this oh my god i'm trying to find the right words let's say kevin breaks a plate and then he decides to put the blame on me obviously i don't like that i would never like something like that why would you do that in the first place and you're my brother i never expected you to just pull me into your wahala i don't have anything to do with what you're doing face your punishment by yourself don't drag me into this but anyway if kevin should do something that really hurts me um like insult me i know i've insulted kevin okay relax i've already said that i'm not perfect nobody is perfect so i'm using my experience as an example to guide you guys and to let you know that there, there you can change you can change trust me when i say so if you're willing to change so if kevin insults me now and says something that i do like oh um if he comes to me and says um sapphire what you're wearing makes you look very ugly that would actually hurt me because why you're my brother even if you don't like what i'm wearing you really don't have to put it that way but if it's a troll now a troll somebody that doesn't even know you from adam Someone has never met you. Someone that's just seen you for the first time pop up on their FYP. Just go to the comment section and be like, bro, your outfit is trash. I'm sorry, but if you don't like it, scroll, move on. You really don't have to fall. Okay, what about the song that I put? The, 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 what about the encouraging song that I put um, in the video? What about the caption? Read the caption, bro leave the outfit okay maybe many people have already told me that the outfit doesn't look great you really don't have to come to the comment section and insult me like crazy there are some people that actually overdo it i know that some of you may mean no harm but the way you put it is what makes it offensive truly you can put it in a kind way and say Darling, your outfit is very beautiful, but the belt is what made it not so nice. To be honest, yeah, 
if that was being said to me by someone I've never met before, I won't lie. If you actually said that, it won't bother me really. It won't bother me. But then at the same time, I would still look at the outfit. And if I see no problem with it, I would make no regard to what you're saying. I won't even care about what you just said. I just like mm, people have different tastes and I'd move on with life, move on in life. But people react to things differently. So I may just decide to ignore it. Some people actually meditate on it. So trolls, right, would go to someone's comment section and insult them, brutalize them. Your skin is horrible. You do this, you do that, you're, you're that, you're this, you're that. Do you know somebody can actually go into depression just because of what you said? And you just say that and you scroll to the next post and continue your trolling to other people that mean no harm to you and have never done anything to you. You're causing people to commit to S-U-I-C-I-D-E. You're making people go into deep D-E-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N. Depression. Which is not a good thing. So please... Don't go about just because you're angry and try to make other people feel bad about themselves just because you're insecure. No, 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 no. Carry your burden, sweetheart. Don't dump it on other people. Tell it to your family. Your family will encourage you, sweetheart. Or oh, a trusted adult. Someone that truly means well for you. Then... I have to read this one out. So trolls often engage in behaviors such as insulting others, starting arguments, or spreading misinformation. I hate that spreading of misinformation. Please, if you were not there, do not talk. If you do not see it, do not talk. If the person is your friend and you want to defend your friend and you know your friend is in the wrong, but you were not there, don't say a word. Don't, you don't have to do anything, really. You don't have to go about and say, oh, her? She's actually done some really nasty things. Meanwhile, you've never met her. You just don't like her for some reason because you're having a bad day. And because she's all smiley and happy, you just decide, I'm going to spread R-U-M-O-R-S about you for no reason at all, just because I feel like. Excuse me, but why? Can, could you just not... You, it, if you're feeling insecure, why don't you go and read a motivational book? <laughs> no, I'm serious. If you're no, see, Sorry. I'm not trying no, no, to. No, I, I was not listening to what you were saying. Mama oh. is getting too serious. But oh, you I'm... guys, I went to the kitchen to dish food for myself, and I forgot the food. <laughs> I literally forgot the food on the counter, and that's why I went downstairs. Who dishes food and leaves it there? That's just wild. <laughs> Are you kidding? Sorry, continue. I, I won't interrupt again. I promise. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm not trying to shame anybody. Anybody that doesn't like feel good about themselves at the moment. See, don't get me wrong. If I was actually right, I'm being a bit too serious here. All I'm trying to say is don't insult people, especially when you've never met them. Even when you know them, don't feel comfortable bringing them down. You shouldn't do that. You should consider. You should. You should consider how they feel. Know that every human being has emotions. Even God has emotions. So be very careful about what you say and what you do to others. Please, really, because going under somebody's post and talking bad about them, you can just ruin their mood. Please try to make people's day great instead of making it terrible for them. Please try as much as you can to just not be so negative. Please, please, honestly, just please. And then I've noticed, because I've had shows under my post too, some of you guys just do it for attention. After I restrict the trolls, right, and then they realize that, oh, I'm no longer um like noticing their comments anymore they would then just start being all nice and say oh your outfit is nice oh you look good oh happy sunday they're just doing it for attention 
you sh you don't do that if you do that please stop it's really not nice you really shouldn't come up to someone's post you should you shouldn't go to someone's comment section and talk bad about them just because you want their attention that's the worst way to get someone's attention that is a terrible and inconsiderate way to get someone's attention and you really don't if you want someone's attention you really don't have to fight for it it's something that will come naturally the person will be like oh this person is really kind and i see how they always comment under my posts let me just appreciate them and they would say oh um thank you so much for your nice comments you know just you don't have to insult someone just so you can get their attention and make them notice you no be nice from the beginning i know some people that i've i've only seen them online and not physically yeah but i know that they are sweethearts why they never have they never say anything bad under my posts they like they comment they share they sh they subscribe they follow they say only nice things about me and whenever something is wrong which is very hard because i always watch my videos multiple times before i post them they never say it in a wrong way they always show how much they care about me and they say it in a very nice way physically mommy <laughs> no it's okay mommy you can call me you can call me it's fine <laughs> well I'm, I'm talking to them about trolls <laughs> <laughs> she forgot her food downstairs in the kitchen was so <laughs> i was actually shook because i thought it was dad that i collected your so yeah nice. i thought it was dad i thought it was coming out to say you guys are making noise <laughs> so i just i quickly looked back <laughs> to it. <laughs> oh is the mask still working okay yes it is okay forget about that so just be nice on that people <laughs> so just be nice under people's posts please please it will make you feel good when you do nice things to people really it's a very good thing for you to, it's a very good thing for you to do hey <sighs> now on to the experiences that i've had let's close this book now i've finished all my points here let me gist you guys <laughs> recently I've made it very clear that my business line is strictly for business, but some people tend to abuse that and instead use it for their own rubbish and nonsense. There was, there was somebody that kept calling me at 2.30 a.m. Mind you, you were really disturbing me. I'm sure that person knows themselves, but I'm sharing my experience with you guys on like the trolls I've met. The minor ones are the ones that go under my post and say bad things. I don't even, I restrict those ones. I don't even focus on them. I'm still holding a piece of paper in my hand. Great. But anyway, let's not focus on that. Um, this person would always call at 2.30 a.m. every single day, multiple times. Then, only for the person to send an offensive picture. Excuse me why why at some point i even decided you know what i'm going to pick your call but i won't say anything i picked the call turned out to be one of those guys i was so upset you were disturbing my sleeping time excuse me you're being very inconsiderate if you do that and it's really not a nice thing the person sent a very offensive picture and immediately blocked straight forward blocked because that was very bad but the blur was enough for me to see that <laughs> something fishy is in the pictures. I blocked straight. And I went to my mother. I said, mother, mother, let me tell you. And I told her. My dad was there. I also told my dad. You know, my dad is very protective about his baby girl. So, of course, he wanted to know about it. So, I told him too. I was like, mama, papa, he sent a very offensive picture. And I blocked him immediately. My mom says, Sapphire, very good. I trust you, my daughter. I said, yes. Because it's not me and you that's going to do those rubbish, rubbish, rubbish things. I'm not up for that. Then, there was an experience I had when I was just nine years old. This thing has traumatized me for a very, very long time. There was this app on App Store called Party in My Dorm. And I thought, oh, this is it. like, you know, those normal um, games such as um, Toka, Toka Live, Toka Boka. Sorry, sorry, that was so random. 
Toka Life, um, Super Stylist. These are the games that I love to play. Talking Angela. So I thought it was, oh, one of those kind of games where you just decorate your room, like Project Makeover. But instead, you're furnishing your room and, you know, talking to people. I thought these were, you know, AI kind of people. Not knowing that these were actual people from, like, all around the world. So I noticed that uh, um, they're being quite offensive. When I say offensive, I mean they were saying explicit things, such as things that were related to um, SEX, which I was like, you know what? My dad, my dad loves to bring people to God. So I thought I could do the exact same thing too. I was nine. Of course, I thought I could do the exact same thing too. So I decided to actually give... Um, them my number and try to find a way to bring them to christ so originally i lied about my age i lied that i was 18. i did this because i didn't want them to see that oh it was a child talking and then they would block me i i genuinely wanted them to come to god so that's the only reason why i gave them that number and i thought i could actually succeed in it Bro, I failed woefully. Oh, I failed woefully. I failed. <laughs> like, I didn't get it. There was one that actually listened to me. There was one that actually listened to me. But then I blocked him after I, after this incident that I'm about to tell you. So before, he, um, the, the first one that I tried, he listened. So I thought, oh, okay, I can do it again to more people. So I added another guy. and then. This time, I, I told him, um, I'm 18. And then I kept talking about Jesus Christ. I was like, do you know Jesus Christ died for you on the cross? You know, God loves you, that kind of thing. Hey, I was nine, bro. Of course, I thought he would listen. <sighs> this man didn't even want to hear a word that I had to say. He kept sending offensive things. And the one that hit it, that hit the nail on the head was when he sent an offensive picture. I wouldn't blame him. I lied that I was 18. I was a nine-year-old. I was curious. I was confused. I looked at the picture. I was like, ah, what is this? Bro, I opened it and I regret it. I, I regret it till this day. Immediately, I went to my mom. I knocked on the door. I was like, mommy, see what this man is saying. My mom was taken aback. She was like, Sapphire, why? And then we had a family meeting about it because anytime, anytime something doesn't really go well in the family, we always talk about it. So everyone knows and is aware of it. So we don't all make the same mistake. So, buddy, please. So we sat down and talked about it. And my dad, my mom, of course, was worried because her baby girl went to a place where she wasn't supposed to go to as an innocent child. And this man sent an offensive picture. My dad also felt the exact same way. But then he was calmer in his tone. You know how moms are now. They'll be like, why did you do that? Why didn't you come to meet me? Then my dad just genuinely asked me and said, Sapphire, tell me the truth and don't tell me what I want to hear. Why? Then I explained to him that, I just wanted to do what he was doing and how he was talking to us about Jesus Christ. And I thought maybe I could also do the exact same things for these people. But it turns out I failed woefully. And my dad understood where I was coming from and said that he understands that I want people to come to Christ. But sometimes not everybody is going to accept it. And you have to understand that. And it's not every time that people will just easily say, oh yeah, I totally believe what you're saying and I'm totally going to do that. No, it's way harder than that. And I needed to understand that. And he, he was proud of me that I had a good motive behind it. But the way I approached it was what he didn't like. So he told me that I shouldn't try it ever again. And from that day on, if I ever wanted to download a game, I would go and tell him. I would show him the game that, dad, I want to download this game. And if he didn't like the game, he would tell me not to download it. And if he, he uh, my mom and dad have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit, as do my siblings and I. And so he knows when God doesn't want us to do a certain thing. So he would tell my dad, tell them no. So my dad just makes sure we know that God loves us more than he loves us because it's actually true. So anyway, 
my dad would tell me don't lo- don't download the game and i would completely understand because i didn't want the exact same thing to happen to me again i was traumatized and i'm still traumatized so he did correct me and i would show my mom too and i would trust my mom completely that was the only time when i didn't tell my mom my mom what was going on because i thought everything was okay that was the only time i didn't tell my mom about what was going on why because i thought what what i was doing was fine i was trying to bring them to jesus christ even though the person i was talking to was very hard to deal with very very hard to deal with but anyway that's in the past now and i've learned my lesson i'm going to try an easier approach and if they don't listen i'll come back another time so i don't force you to do something that will traumatize me and not you that thing scarred me for life seriously so yeah that's my experience with trolls and that's my advice to all the people who have ever dealt with trolls or people who are currently having problems with trolls and yeah if you've had any experience with trolls write down in the comment section below how it felt for you how you felt and how you handled it and let me know if this piece of advice helps you and to anybody out there that is a troll all the trolls know themselves all the trolls know themselves I, i'm not going to call out anybody because i have i i don't want to but you know yourself and you know what you've done if you know that you have not been nice to people in their comment section below this piece of advice is for you please please and please consider people's emotions please please and please season your words with salt let the, let your speech be precious as it is said in colossians 4 6 be kind with your words the tongue is powerful please and please again i am begging you be kind to people no matter what and even if something is like some the person did something that is wrong do not say it in an offensive way put it in the most polite way as possible or rather don't even say anything at all just scroll don't bother just scroll please that's all i have to say so my shnookum zeros i've come to the end of this video and i hope this piece of advice helps anybody out there who is struggling with trolls and i hope any troll out there will also learn to not be a troll again after this it may not be easy to stop immediately but practice makes perfect so i shall close with our anthem right hand on your twist now sit with me be beautiful be different be a schnookerms <laughs> What is the anthem? What is the anthem? <laughs> he was getting serious. I'm too weak. Yes, now be a schnooker. Okay, okay, don't forget to take pictures for your thumbnail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, if you want to be a schnooker, please, I'm going to remind you because if you have stayed this long, it means you like the content. So, I would like to tell you, or I would. I just want to tell you to please like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you do not miss out on the latest updates. And yeah, I love you and have a wonderful life. And don't go evangelizing. Jesus did not send you. Actually, bro, don't go evangelizing. Jesus did not send you. <laughs> yeah actually that's one thing my dad said that god did not send me so i shouldn't have even done it in the first place bye bye but they come and say and say bye now <laughs> no <laughs> no bars <laughs> okay Whew. my goodness <sighs>